show that will be touring in market theater ngena namphakathi sikwazi kumbona ukuthi usiphatheleni You're an actor, we are Bala, we are director. <laughs> where, where, where are you from? I mean, I was born in Sekutu Buyapi. No, me, I'm from Tembisa, I'm called Tembisa, like my entire life. I was born in Tembisa, I grew mm -hmm. up in Tembisa. I'm telling you, I'm a you know, I stayed in Matela Gofa for some time, I stayed in Mandela for some time, then I moved to Tlamatama, then that's where I'm at now. Growing up at Tembisa, did you know Gutu Uzo and Bala? Yeah, I knew. I started acting when I was doing grade five. I think yeah. it was in 2001. Okay. So I knew Guti. I had love for this thing, like from Dala. I played soccer in Jenga Banyama Fana, yes. but if Okasam, it wasn't in playing soccer. It was in being a star, being an entertainer. So I okay. knew Guti someday I'll right be somewhere. Wow. Yeah. Uh, inspire Shuang Uban. I mean, you are young, yeah. you know. <laughs> He's so young, and I don't know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Well, older. Uh, but what inspires you when and the stories that you tell? Um, me, I'm inspired by life in general. I'm inspired by life, you know. But there are people who are playing like an important role in yeah. everybody's life, you know. Yeah. Like Sofarna Siane, you know, Tamim Bongo. Mm. And my fiance, you know, she inspires me every every day, every day of my life. So okay. yeah. I mean, yeah, the stages you would love to conquer. Yeah, ma, my aim is to help, you know, is to develop more. Yeah. You understand, yeah. other young directors. Mm. Especially in Houten, you know, it's difficult to break through. Yeah. Because I've started this in 2001. I only got my break, uh, breakthrough in 2014 in Cape Town. Okay. When I did the very same show with uh, Zabalaza Festival. Okay. So um, my aim is to help, you know, the little that I have, I have to plow it back to my community and help others to, to, to get where I am. I'm not where I want to be mm -hmm. because success is something else, you know. I haven't made it yet. I'm still in the process of going there. Mm -hmm. So, but where I am, I could help. That's the entire. Also, Talile with helping. Yeah. And if you, you're busy doing that, do Uganda Ganjan? I'm doing that. I'm running Saturday drama classes at Tembis at the Moses okay. Mulekwa Center. So I'm doing that and I I, I have a, a 90 seater small theater in Tembisa okay. where I host shows and develop them and produce them. So I've started. Do you read books when Zani is Katsako? Yeah, <laughs> I read books. I read books. I read books. But I don't read uh, just any book. I read books that would give me something, mm -hmm. that I'll take something after reading the book. I do read like a lot of books. As so if theater is relevant, it's highly relevant. Like this, How so? Um, theater is life. Theater is presence. Mm -hmm. Theater is a feel and touch. Mm -hmm. Theater still has sense, you know. Okay. So it's relevant. It's very relevant because theater, man, it's a, ref a reflection of life. It's mm -hmm. like we're holding a mirror to the community and the entire society, ensuring them what they're doing. You understand to inspire change, to mm -hmm. to develop, and to to to, to give hope. So. I think, not think, I believe that theatre is, is relevant in all aspects, it's still relevant. What inspires the stories of Okulumangazo? Again, they're inspired by reality, you know, and I'm interested in talking about or telling stories that they are thought provoking, that mm. would question reality and that would question silence, you know. Yeah. Most of the time, the entire community is silent and we are. We are built by the society. We forget about who we are mm. and what I want to do in life, but we tend to believe in what the society thinks about us. So 
my interest in directing and writing. I want something that will be a, th a thought-provoking uh, story or something that would question most of the things. Monyanga 2014, you won the Zabalaza, and the, uh, the Zogala um, festival. Yeah. Gushinja kanja nimbilo yako nomsebenzo wakolo. I've been participating in Zogala since 2011, so I've never won. And in 2014, I told myself that, what is it that I'm doing wrong? So I said, I probably am not strong enough. Then mm. I took the entire 2013 and I did a show, um, Tula Tula, I rewrote it, and then I developed it, and then it went to Cape Town. It was the best visiting production in Zabalaza Festival. And it came back to Jobe, Kala, and it got Zogal, and it was that moment I was waiting for, you know. It's difficult especially a young director like me, an emerging yeah. director, to, to break through in such a big theatre in Gauteng, you know. Mm. So it, like, it's, a, it's that step that um, my dreams are possible, and if my dreams are possible, everybody could make it, you know. So it means a lot to me, and it's that uh, mind-changer type of situation that I'm in now. Is theatre we Fundile professionally? I've trained with the Windy Brow Theatre in 2010. Okay. Yes, there was, it was a formal training, so I trained in theatre. And I attend most of the classes. I did script writing in the state theater, but directing, I'm a self taught director. So um, I taught myself how to direct. Amazing. And inspired by other big directors in, 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 in the province. So yeah. Tula Tula is coming in Market Theater. Yeah. In Jale, about, about Tula Tula, I mean, yeah. what inspired the story? Um, Tula Tula is inspired by the silence, you okay. know, Tula Tula. <laughs> So it's inspired by the silence and what we young people go through, especially you women, mm. you know, mm. at the young age and choices that you need to make. So it's yeah. inspired by that. So it's a very powerful and emotional piece that um, everybody should come watch it. Yeah. You know, because you take something home, yeah. you, 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 it will change how you see things. And it deals about the rape culture, you know. Rape has become a culture in the society. Mm. We know about rapists, yeah. we know somebody's raping somebody, but we're doing nothing, nothing about it, so we're silent. So Tula Tula is questioning that, you know, and what can you do because you know, you know about rape and what are you doing currently? So Tula Tula is all about that. It's um, that a play that would give an insight to rape and it will give an insight to those victims and an insight to, to, to the perpetrator somehow, you yeah. know. So it's that thing that we, Tula Tula speaks about. That you want to drive home with the with the piece here, Tula Tula, or maybe not just umlayes, but you know, when we taller out of the audience, what do you want people to carry with? I want, I want to break the silence. Yeah. It saddens me like big time. We silent, yeah. we silent about everything, about any violence. We silent, and we allowing rape to happen mm. if you are silent. You know, we are allowing abuse to happen in society if you are silent. You know. We are allowing theatre to be poor if we're silent about it, you know. Mm -hmm. And what I want to say is like, I want to break the silence. Let's speak about it. Let's put an abrupt end to, to rape. Let's put an end to violence against women and children. So I want to break the silence. And I want people to start acting. Um, police, we are. Um, police is going far. Police <laughs> is going far. Police is going far. Um, my, my aim is um, I don't want to make it alone. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't want to make it alone. Um if we make it Sibani we could yeah. build a better country, you know. Yeah. It's not about me at the end. I know it's about me somehow, but I'm, I'm I want to take as as many people as I can where I'm going, you know. Whoever's interested, I'm willing to, to take them with me, you know. So Mkolis is going to build his own theatre someday. Mkolis is going to to build his own empire in the entertainment. Mkolis is going to to educate a lot, Mkolis is going to change people's lives, so Mkolis is going far. You excite me, <laughs> I must I must admit. Yeah. Um, go young people who are watching the show today, what do you want to leave with them? Uh, watching the show today, what I want to leave with them is that it's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see your dreams, there's nothing stopping you. It won't be easy. Some people will tell you that your dreams are impossible, but for the fact that you see your dreams, irrespective of what you're doing mm. but if you see them they're possible like i'm an example of that nobody believed that it will get this far yeah and it's here and some people they'll tell you that you're not good so tell them to go wherever they want to go you are good so you you you, you are in charge of your dreams you're in charge of your goals you're in charge of your life because i believe that if you're not doing anything about your current situation mm. then the coming generation or your children or whatever they will be in a worse situation than 
the one that we're in today. So I think what we need to do as young people today is like change the situation. It has been like this for a long time, but mm. we're here and what are we doing about it? So let's change it. It's possible. And yeah, that uh, every day, see your dreams. Thank if you, you forget so them, have an image yeah. of something that you want to be. Yeah. Whenever you wake up, look at it and yeah. tell yourself that it's possible. Yeah, I'm on Facebook, mm -hmm. okay. also Masilela. Okay. Also have a fan page that is Olisi X Masilela. Alright. And I have uh, TX Theatre Production, my company that I'm running, is TX Theatre Productions, and I'm on Instagram is Olisi.com. And what else? I'm not on Twitter. I don't understand <laughs> it. So I'm not on Twitter. Yeah. That's thank it. you. Yeah. Thank you so much for Iskat Sako. Yeah, really. Um. Yeah. Kabanga would be first hamba uzo fungus bonisa. Uh, part of the play of his life. Yeah, yeah, the play I'll show you just now and. <laughs> That was my interview, Nomkolisi Masilela. Please don't go away. That's important. Also, you can't just leave things. Um, my parents, on they don't believe in quitting. Mm. You need to finish what you started, and then you can go on to something else. So the, the, that's why I'm now motivated.